you are going to know how to use Psalm 112 to attract prosperity, blessing, miracle, and open door. The most powerful Psalm to attract prosperity, favor, and family unity. So get your Bible. This is a good news version. I'm going to read Psalm 112. Happy is the person who honors the Lord, who takes pleasure in obeying his command. The good man's children will be powerful in the land. The good man's children will be powerful in the land. His descendants will be blessed. Oh Lord, bless my children. Bless me, oh Lord. Bless my family members. My children are blessed. In the name of Jesus, my children shall be powerful in the land. I shall be powerful. What does it mean to be powerful? I'm not talking about physical strength. I'm talking about financial power. When you have the money, you are powerful. But when you don't have money, people disrespect you. People intimidate you. You want to speak in public, they tell you, please keep quiet. What do you have to say? A poor man like you. What do you have to offer? May God not allow you to be a mocking stop. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now continue. Psalm 112 verse 3. His family will be worthy and rich. And he will be prosperous forever. Oh Lord, make my family worthy and rich. And make us prosperous forever. This prayer is not just to bless yourself for money. To bless your family your husband, your wife, your children, your sisters, your brothers, your family member. Oh Lord, make my family prosperous and rich. Repeat these seven times. Oh Lord my God, my family will be worthy and rich and we will be prosperous forever. One, my family will be worthy and rich and we will be prosperous forever. Make these seven times. Verse four, light shines in the darkness for good people, for those who are merciful and kind and just, but there is a criteria. You have to deserve this. Kind and just. How do you show kindness? By being kind to people around you. When you see anyone suffering, you offer a helping hand. Be a giver, be generous. That's the key. There are people they are very selfish. Don't wait until you have millions, you have a lot to help. Even the little one you have, God is testing you to use to help others. Yes, when you are kind, when you are merciful, are you merciful? Do you forgive those who offend you? Do you forgive those who offend you? There are many of you, you hardly forgive. I will never forgive you. You bear grudges. And you are asking God for blessing, for money, for favor. Do you think, search your heart, do you really think you deserve those things you are asking God to give to you? Or to do for you? Have you obeyed all his commandments? You are asking God to bless you out of his mercy. Then show mercy to others. Show mercy to others. Forgive people. Let go because of God. And God will forgive you. And not just to ask for forgiveness. Stay out of sin. There are people they play with God. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I will never do it again. They will go back and do it again. They will go back and do it again. Over and over again, then God is not listening. God forgives you when there is repentance, when you are willing to change. So tell God to help you to change. Oh Lord, I confess my sins. After you read this scripture, you prophesy that verse seven times. You confess your sins. Oh Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've done lots of evil. These sins are blocking me. These sins are opening doors for the devil. To attack me. Oh Lord my God, forgive my sins. Confess your sin. Forgive my family. We are sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry for my sins. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry for my sins. Oh Lord, I repent from this sin. Give me the grace not to go back to it again. Oh Lord, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Oh King, have mercy upon me. Kindly ask for forgiveness.
tell God you are sorry and mean it and try to abstain from that sin and be a good person. Be a kind person and light will shine in darkness for you. What is darkness? Failure is darkness. Delay is darkness. Sickness is darkness. Barrenness is darkness. Poverty is darkness. Everything like suffering is darkness. Light will shine in darkness. And that light is testimony. That light is miracle. The reason why most of you have not gotten your miracle is because of darkness. Darkness surrounds you. Surround your family. Because of your sin. Bringing curses. Opening doors for your enemies. For witches and wizards to torment you. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I'm a sinner. Oh Lord, forgive me. I want to be a good person. So that your light will shine in my life. Your light will overshadow every darkness. So I will receive my testimony. So my long-awaited miracle will be released. In the name of Jesus, amen. Verse 5. Happy is the person who is generous with his loan. Who runs his business honestly. A good person will never fail. He will always be remembered. A good person who is generous. Generous. So one key to get is to give. You don't need to cheat. To lie, to steal, to have money. That kind of words does not last. A good person will never fail. When you are truly good, when you are truly in Christ, you can never fail. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. From now on, failure is not your portion. In your business, failure is not your portion. Your family members, failure is not their portion. You will get the maximum result from all your efforts. Wherever you are failing in the past, you shall rise up. You shall succeed. Receive success in everything you do. You will prosper in the name of Jesus. And read Psalm 112 from beginning to the ending. Read the 10 verses. I stopped here to save your time. But read the 10 verses and speak what you need as you open it. Oh Lord, this is what I need. Let your light shine through every darkness in my life. Let your light shine through every problem. Oh Lord, bring me testimony. Oh Lord, show me mercy. Open my doors. Forgive me, O Lord. I reject failure. I reject this. Tell God the exact amount of money that you need. Tell God what you need. Then see what happens in your life. Embrace prosperity. Embrace abundance. Embrace blessing. Embrace miracle. And make sure as you are praying this, let all members of your family come together to pray this. There is power in communal prayer. Except you stay alone, then... You can pray it alone. Is it okay to so say this prayer and follow these principles and see what God will do in your life, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Please like this video. Share with your friends, your family members, your loved ones. Let them also pray this. As they do this, God will bless you. This is another way to show kindness. You share blessings to others. May God bless you.